all golden cheek warblers are native Texans because all golden cheek warblers are born here. But then they spend the majority of their time in the highland pine oak woodlands of southern Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and a little bit of Nicaragua. And of course, they travel um, several weeks in between every year. And in those times, we're not exactly sure where they go, but we assume it's a different kind of wood. The golden cheek warbler is a migratory songbird, which means it's traveling from the breeding grounds in North America to the wintering grounds in Central America. In the breeding grounds here in Texas, it's confined to a very small range in the oak juniper woodland of the Texas Hill Country. This species, like many other birds, is, um, lives a very, very tenuous life. Um, they're insectivores. They run a very high metabolism, so they have to eat almost all the time or find food all the time. So their lives are very, very precarious. And it's fascinating to be able to study them and see them succeed at their breeding. So the breeding season is very short here in Texas. It lasts about 14 weeks long and they have to travel a long way to get here and life is tenuous. So a lot of the times they don't have more than one opportunity to breed. So it's serious business. Their biology in Latin America is very different because here they pair up. In Latin America, um, there's no breeding going on. And what they do is they join mixed species flocks. And the mixed species flocks contain many, many different species. Some of the species are also migratory songbirds from North America that have flown south. But other members of that flock will be the resident birds that live in the pine oak woodlands of Guatemala and Southern Mexico, for example. And then the function of flocking is about threefold. One is um, there's more eyes to watch out for predators if you're in a group. And the group will collectively defend a territory, which is much bigger than any one pair's territory. And then they also, they flush the prey and discover the prey for each other. So for example, insects can be very patchy within the woodlands. So if you're one bird looking for a patch, you might not find it. And if you did find it, you'd find more insects than any one bird could eat. Because their resources are very patchy, the flock has a better chance of finding that food and exploiting those resources. Golden cheek warblers occupy oak juniper woodland. They are a forest species. We know that during the previous millennia that the Texas Hill Country has been sort of a patchwork of grasslands and woodlands. But it's pretty clear that along the eastern edge of the Balcones Escarpment, that that area was an old growth forest. The wild basin would have been one little parcel with all of that, that the golden cheek warblers lived and thrived for centuries. So that's part of their relationship to wild basin. My name is Daryl Hutchinson. I'm a biologist for the city of Austin. I work on the Balcones Canyon Lands Preserve and the study that I'm involved in is to understand the demography of the golden cheek warbler, Cetophaga chrysoparium. <laughs>